So it's pretty much the peak of the summer season here in Scotland and it's been particularly warm today. It's been about 28, 29 degrees the whole day. A beautiful day but unfortunately for photography the lighting has just been far too harsh as you'd expect in summer. So I've been driving a few hundred miles today touring various spots, pretty much scouting them for potentially returning later in the year or into early next year depending on the weather and so on. But the evening uh, has come in now and the light is a bit softer and I've chosen to settle on this particular location for today, round off my day here and hopefully capture a nice image. Now the sun is lowering in the sky, it's going to set behind quite a large mountain here I would say in about the next hour or so and just behind me here there are some other nice mountains that I've been keeping my eye on as I've walked up this hill. At the moment I'm thinking I'd like to photograph them. I'm just going to go up a little bit higher and see if I can get a nice vantage point. If that doesn't work I'll come back down a little bit because I've spotted some potential locations off to my right. So the temperature's dropping a little bit. It's still really warm but time to head off and see if I can find somewhere to photograph from before the sun sets. So this is the first image that I took on that particular day and I thought it would be worthwhile pausing the on location part of this video just for a few moments to talk about this image because I think it's a very good example of why you can never get your best results in landscape photography if you rush. For me personally and I'm sure as is the case for most photographers, I get my best results, my best images when I arrive at a location with lots of time to spare or if I've been there previously and scouted it out looking for compositions and I get time to set up the image the way I want it and then wait on the correct lighting to appear. That's how I get my best results. You can of course arrive at a new location, instantly find a good composition and the lighting is perfect, take your shot and come away with an image you're really satisfied with, but those moments don't occur very often. So the image we're talking about now is an example of a very rushed image and it's one that I'm not quite happy with and you'll hear me touching that a little bit in the on location parts of this video. But I want to give a bit more background about this image, how I spotted it, how I came to take it and why I don't think it works. So to give you some background I was walking up this hill towards the impressive peak on the top right of the frame and I spotted on the bottom left of the frame here that tree which had a very nice shape, it looked amazing in the lighting, the sun is setting off to the right and it was being beautifully side lit. I also spotted the small peak just above it and to the right, again it was very interesting shape and, and receiving some wonderful lighting and those were the two elements that caught my eye. This stream the tree in the centre of the frame and the impressive peak up to the top right, those elements I couldn't see some of them or they were partially obscured by the hills etc, the mounds as I was walking up. So it was the tree in the left and that peak that really caught my eye. As you can see there's a lot of shadow coming across the image. The sun was setting way off to my right, it was lowering in the sky heading towards a mountain which it was going to be obscured behind and that's what's casting this shadow. Now as I walked up and tried to get close to this tree, the, the whole tree was in sunlight, it was being side lit, there was no shadow across the tree, the shadow was quite a way back or off to the right. But as I went up towards the tree I could see the shadows move across the land to the left getting ever closer to that tree and it became a huge rush to get there before the tree started to get slightly covered in shadow from the ground upwards and that was the issue, that was my race against time. 
Then as I actually reached the scene, I just arrived too late. The shadow was too far across in the image. Also, I then spotted the stream, which as I said, I couldn't see from further back. The tree in the center of the image interested me and I wanted to include that in the composition. And I could really see that impressive peak at the top right of your screen. That became more obvious to me. I could see more detail in it. Its size and shape impressed me. And I couldn't see all those details from further back. So I rushed up to this spot interested in photographing the tree and the smaller peak above it. Then I saw this whole wonderful scene and I was already simply too late to get the shot. The shadow was too far across to the middle and left of the frame for my liking. So I rushed my composition and I ended up just taking a shot, uh, handheld as well. I had no time to set up a tripod or think about filters. For me, it's a reasonably okay image, but it needed a lot more time and a lot more work. I would like to alter the composition slightly. I'd like more time to explore the scene. I think I'd want to change uh, how high I had the camera, for example. And regarding the shadows, I'm quite happy that there's shadow in this scene. It really reveals the contours and shapes. But this main shadow along the lower half of the image, it's crept too far to the left for my liking. I would have liked that tree at the bottom left uh, completely in light with no shadow. And the shadow, if I could be really fussy, would be a lot further to the right of my image, more along the line of the small stream or maybe just before it or at most maybe just after it but things like that when you're in a rush you just can't fine-tune composition you can't wait for the lighting you can't wait for the shadows to be in the correct areas I just arrived here in a huge rush also when I got there the dreaded awful midges come out I was absolutely covered in them and the whole thing just turned into a rush fighting against the light and that was a battle I'd already lost so I had no time to optimize and perfect my composition. However that's this image I then moved on and I got two more images which I'm pretty happy with I had more time. These were potential compositions I'd spotted earlier in the day as I walked up the hill and I was waiting on the light to be good for those particular shots so I had more time to go and set them up because I'd spotted them earlier, got an idea of the composition in my head and I could wait for the lighting to, to make those scenes just the way I wanted. So let's go back on location and see how I did with those two other images. So the scene behind me here is looking quite nice now. It was nice earlier, but I quite like the subtle lighting it's got on it at the moment due to the sun beginning to set. Today has been pretty much a scouting mission. It's been successful. I found a few locations I'll definitely return to when the time of year is correct and the conditions are correct. But during the day, it was always going to be harsh light, middle of the summer, a very sunny day, not ideal for photography. But I'm hoping I've caught a couple of nice images this evening as the light has got a bit softer. But earlier when I spoke, I've not had time to do any vlogging since then. It was a mad rush to get up to this sunlit peak and tree which I saw in the distance. And I really got there quite literally, no exaggeration, with seconds to spare. And I won't really know if I got the shot I wanted until I actually see it at home on the computer. But it looked quite nice on the LCD. But I really like to just check things in the bigger screen. Uh, the light was changing rapidly, the sun was setting, shadows were coming across the land. And I think I got it just as I wanted, but hopefully I'll be able to tell when I get home. But at the moment I can't be 100% sure. But I'm going to hang around here for just a few minutes longer, see if the light gets any better, and then head down before it gets too dark.
So the lighting in this scene now is pretty much gone. Uh, to me this scene is all about the impressive size and shape and texture of these mountains. And the light that was coming across it, hitting it from the side, emphasised those shapes very nicely in my opinion. And combining the light areas with the shadow really brings out the texture in an image. So I'm confident I've caught this one in the best light I could have today. Even if there's a nice sunset in about 20 minutes or however long, and the sky goes a nice colour, I still think the mountains themselves will look better in the light that I caught them. So today has been hopefully quite a good success in terms of photography. I think I've finished it off with a nice image. I'll have to check the one I got earlier. It was a huge rush trying to get that image and quite a hike up a steep hill and a race against the sunlight. But in terms of scouting around, I've seen quite a few nice spots in quite a wide area that I've covered today. So I'll definitely be returning to some of these points uh, at later times in the year or early next year. But I hope you've enjoyed watching, time for me to head back and I'll hopefully see you in my next vlog.